well as we know around Broadway, something about Josh Logan. Well, Josh Logan, actually, the stage struck grandson of a Louisiana cotton planter and the son of a Louisiana lumberman. Now, no one in the Logan family ever had been on the stage. And stock companies rarely have ever visited Mansfield, Louisiana, so both heredity and environment equally were outraged when Josh Logan's wit, imagination, fine taste, and sound theater sense made him one of the giants of Broadway. And his imprint, the Logan imprint, is unmistakable in such classics as Annie Get Your Gun, Mr. Roberts, South Pacific, Wish You Were Here, and his recent production for the Theater Guild of Will William Inge's Pulitzer Prize winning Picnic. Now that was a very unusual setup there because he, Josh Logan, as the Pulitzer Prize winning author of South Pacific, directed a Pulitzer Prize winning play, something unique in theater history. Now tonight we're going to continue the Josh Logan story with the second act scene of Picnic. Now the play is set in a Kansas backyard and Ralph Meeker plays the role of the husky, earthy ex-college football star who's now reduced to the status of a neighborhood handyman. As the scene opens, he's entertaining the girls while the older people are preparing the baskets for the Labor Day picnic, which is about to happen. Now, Meeker's picnic partner is the younger sister, Kim Stanley. But in this scene, it becomes very obvious that Kim is going to lose him to her sister, Madge, the prettiest girl in town, played by Janice Rule. Now, to complicate matters even more completely, in the scene is Eileen Heckert, playing the part of a spinsterish but young school teacher who also is attracted to the boy and whose date tonight is Scott Jackson. Here is a scene from the Pulitzer Prize winning play, Picnic. Hey, go tell them I did that. Go ahead for all I care. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. Would you like a little dance? 
He was the one who also authored Come Back Little Sheba. Speaking of winners, if any of you have been down to your Lincoln Mercury dealer showroom, and I hope you all have, and taken a look at the new Lincoln, I think you'll agree the new Lincoln's design really shows the spirit of modern living. Now here's my good friend Bernard Brick to tell you why Lincoln is the one fine car designed for just that, modern living. <laughs> 